I grew up in San Francisco. I went to public school. I was always interested in math and science. And in my family, it was important to do well in school, and it was expected that I would go to college. But at that time, it wasn't something girls were supposed to do. Back in the 1960s, girls weren't supposed to fiddle with computers either, but Barbara Lizkoff did, and wound up utterly transforming the way software is written, leaving a mark on nearly every single program and app we use today. With an undergraduate math degree from Berkeley, Liskoff took a job at the MITRE Corporation in the new field of computer programming. I knew nothing about programming. I had no background. Teaching herself to code by reading computer manuals, Liskoff grew into something of a prodigy over the years, earning a PhD at Stanford and eventually returning to MITRE as storm clouds gathered over a fledgling software industry. Then they asked me to look into the software crisis. And the software crisis was people didn't know how to build software systems that worked. In the 1970s, as hardware grew more capable and companies attempted to create bigger, more complicated programs, software began to fail in spectacular fashion. You would pick up the newspaper in those days, and in the business section, you'd see an article about a company that had spent millions of dollars, hundreds of man years. They always talked about man years. And in the end, they had a product they had to throw out because it simply didn't work. Imagine a program that simulates a car, 30,000 parts, all working together. For each one, a few dozen lines of mathematical description. For every function, equations for calculating motion and energy. In the era of the software crisis, all computer programs, even the most complex, would be written like this, in a single document, sometimes with hundreds of thousands of internal cross-references. Programs failed because they were simply too convoluted to follow. Collaboration was almost impossible. Liskoff's answer was Clue, a new programming language that cleaned up the mess. Solving enormous technical challenges, she cleared the way for code like this to be structured across many documents. Specialization across teams was suddenly possible. A single document describes the accelerator, several for the engine, and unnecessary details could be hidden away. The rest would come together in an easy-to-read master document. Succeeding where others hadn't, Liskoff unleashed a brand new field of software design and became the first female professor of computer science at MIT. As Liskoff's technique became standard, the software crisis of the 1970s lifted. Programs became easier to write and understand, and the modularity allowed for an accumulation of knowledge that increasingly accelerates software development projects to this very day. The concepts Liskoff proved with Clue became the foundation of nearly every program ever written since. When you design a programming language, it has to be well-defined. It has to be easy to use. It has to have all the features people need. It has to also be relatively easy to understand. Sometimes you have to invent something new.